Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Zwift Community Live broadcast of the Kiss Europe race out on the Zwift London Loop tonight. Races are going to be doing two laps of the London Loop under Kiss rules tonight. Uh, riders in the A category about to get on the way in about a minute and 16 seconds or so. Just going to go over some of the race rules real quick as riders do get started as well as ways to get involved into racing out on Zwift. The Kiss Europe night race, if you're going to get into the race, if you want to join the event, you log into Zwift or the Zwift mobile link and you can find the event as you log in and select your category uh, and put KISS in your name. For the rules, power-ups are allowed at all times. The power-ups that you do gain as you go through the start-finish banner. The On this course, you'll also be going over the KOM on Box Hill uh, two times as well as the start-finish banner twice. And so there's probably some riders that went out and grabbed a power-up as well prior so that they would have one in uh, stock prior to getting going out on course so power-ups are allowed at all times fully gamified race today for the kiss as usual all bikes are allowed so if somebody wanted to jump onto a tt bike in this race they can do so although they will be at a little bit of a disadvantage most likely most people do not do so because of the drafting in the uh game is so uh realistic that being a part of the pack is very very advantageous for saving your uh saving up your energy so riders are about to take off looks like we've got 32 starters in the A category. In the B category, we've got about 46 starters. We'll be able to follow some of the action in the B category remotely, but we will mainly be a part of the A race today. For the A race and uh, B, C, and D races, it's all the same as usual. The FTP for this A race that's just taken off is going to be riders are, are about 4 watts per kilogram or higher for their functional threshold power. In the B category, it's going to be the 3.2 to 4 4.0. The C category, if you're jumping into a race, it's going to be 2.5 to 3.2 in the D categories, 2.5 and under. So there is racing for everybody of all ability levels out on Zwift. Uh, and so it looks like right from the get-go here, we do have a fairly international field, actually. As you, uh, If you're unfamiliar with Zwift, uh, these are all riders in their pain caves at home on some sort of a uh, trainer pedaling actual bikes right now as they power, power these avatars for as they come underneath the KISS banner. Pretty cool new feature there from Zwift putting banners into the game for all of their event for well not all their event promoters but for event promoters that are out there uh, adding that for the KISS races has been really cool and uh, we've seen it for quite a few other events out there as well. We did recently see it uh, for the engine tour of California it was a cool feature that was added in there as well. Uh, we do see Ganya and like a Canyon here riding for Team ODZ actually. Haven't seen him hanging out in game in quite a while. I think he was doing some in real life races. So uh, ODZ coming out in force. We do see innovation cycles out here as well as far as the teams that are showing up to the A race today. It looks like a very contested field actually by quite a few teams today which is really interesting to see here. Team France showing up. Uh, as you can see, they do use the bikes and beer kit usually as we get the look here at uh, Amlard uh, as they're making their way underneath the tunnel here. We do also see Richardson now, G. Richardson for innovation. They are adopting the Alienware kit that Team Experimental used to use before they got their uh, updated kit there. As you can see right where my cursor is, there uh, goes Plusmers, Joachim Plusmers, who's actually going to be a rider that's going to be at the uh, CVR World Cup event that's coming up here. Uh, one of the riders on the roster, they're riding for Team Experimental there, Plusmers, uh, right next to, to the Innovation Cycles member. Now France making their way to the front there. A lot of unattached riders in there as well as you can see, but the KISS racing team is definitely present as well in that KRT kit uh, that you can see here uh, with that Tron bike. A lot of the uh, teams that have been out on Zwift for a while have almost a team 
setup that they do use a full team kit with a bike that uh, they use in hand with the colors. So as you can see with the KRT boys with their kit in game, as well as the Tron bike uh, in blue there have kind of uh, kitted up themselves with a full setup, their matching setup. ODZ as well with their ODZ kit and the Tron bike with a little bit more of a teal going on there in their kit build. We do see now uh, right from the get go uh, a break uh, initially happening. Uh, D Muller maybe with a dropout there coming out of Brazil, uh, not hanging out 57 seconds back, but we're seeing no waters coming from him. So no real breaks yet amongst the riders. The main place that we're most likely going to see any kind of breaks amongst the race today is definitely going to be on Box Hill. The B race, as I was saying earlier, is going to be followed remotely here. I do have the feet up. I'm, um, next to me here and we'll be able to talk about how things are playing out we'll be able to find the riders after we leave the a category for their finish uh out on the course today the b race is currently being led out by t nagy as well as uh hannon and jay kerr here from vision cycling we also see i believe it's aaron cox there coming from the brt team the bolt racing team in the b category uh Ken sports here adrian timis pro, ex-professional world tour rider actually out on course here hammering away I believe this would be uh, Timis uh, it looks like here yep it is Adrian Timis there Caden Sports um, coming out of the UK good to see him I have a feeling uh, I'm going to see him as well in London uh, sometime next week as we move toward that uh, London event it's going to be cool to meet him as he's in that lineup as well so this is almost like a pre-race race here with Joachim and Adrian here uh, showing up Adam Webb now from Vision though at the front here 10 watts per kilogram the first place that you can try and make any kind of a break kicking it into almost a sprint type effort here hammering away locks now from Vision as well trying to follow it up maybe make a 1-2 Vision off the front we are seeing Straczynski here out of Poland another CVR event rider here following up very closely to Burton who's riding for that TFC team here in the yellow CRCA kit that the Friday Criterium TFC team has adopted if you're wondering how do I know these guys are on these teams well I have some recognition of some of these jerseys obviously but also next to their name they've put in brackets the team uh, acronym that is being used so ODZ Vision TFC Team PL which is Team Poland there as you can see on the right hand side KRT Team Experimental Team X is in there Innovation for Innovation Cycles uh, and uh, so the, the, the uh, Caden Sports there is in there as well he's uh, Adrian riding for so uh, lots of uh, teams and identification going on with the in game name there as well as right next to their name there they do put the current race that they are a part of I do have the social media integration up if you have any questions make sure to shoot them my way as I do have them up on the uh, on the broadcast now uh, Brian Greatrick is hanging out says nice to see you Mr. G good to see you there Brian Greatrick what's with the hat look oh so this is a uh, um, mixer uh, beam recently swapped over to mixer we are live over on not just Facebook but twitch mixer which was formerly known as beam uh, the uh, the current uh, Microsoft rebrand of of the beam uh, streaming platform so that's uh, what this is all about we are I am uh, a partner over there with them uh, and then also the uh, let's see here there's well we're also on YouTube excuse me so those are all the places that we are currently live streaming so that's with the what's with the hat uh, logo that's going on it's just a recently launched uh, recently launched brand actually really cool they've got some they also launched some really cool features actually with mixer uh, recently with uh, live streaming from uh, a native into iOS as well as into Android right onto the platform some pretty cool stuff that's been going on over there so that's what's up with that great trick but good to see you and uh are you racing and chatting right now? Usually in the B race, Brian Greatrick coming in here to the broadcast here, well known amongst the B riders as a force to be reckoned with. So good to see you hanging out on the broadcast here, maybe racing. I've just noticed Adrian Timmis, David Owen says on Box Hill, he will send you all into a new place of new pain and uh, check out Webb's power. Oh dear, uh, uh, David says, and uh, Greatrick says, seamless, nice. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that, Greatrick. And thanks for uh, your comments over 
over at the face of the book over there. I am also paying attention to the chat over at Twitch as well, and I'll try and bring in uh, your uh, comments as well over there as much as possible. Uh, we do have some chat integration there, Rogers. Uh, we are able to uh, do some as I do see your comments coming through there. All right, it does look like we are heading into the uh, section of the course. We need to start watching out for those breaks as they head into Box Hill Locks here. 5.5 watts per kilogram falling off just a a little bit. Maybe the Vision Train unable to hang on there as we do see Appleby with Arad and it looks like our Henry out of Ireland here trying to make that chase but 24 seconds heading into Box Hill. That's probably not going to be happening. We are seeing Appleby just trying to hang on at this point it looks like and it looks like this will be the first chase group out on course but Falling off at this point, not always the worst thing, as some of the riders that are amongst this league group might fall off and be caught being over threshold, trying to hang on with the cream of the crop here at the front uh, front end, pointy end of the race. We do see Amblard here out of France trying to make his way to the front. 5.3, 5.6 watts per kilogram. We're starting to see the kick into that steady 4 to 6 watts per kilogram, most likely all the way to the top of Box Hill. And for Box Hill climbs, usually these boys are throwing down just over 6-minute climbs or so to the top. There is a little bit of drafting throughout Box Hill that it does matter. They do speed each other up definitely out on the climb here. So definitely um, do go a little bit faster or, or a lot faster actually. Probably a solid 20 seconds is gained by riders working together over the top of Box Hill with the drafting up it. But as they kick into the 6 watts per kilogram, we are starting to see some of them bite the dust off the back here. Hedgehog now one second back now at 148, 149. Just uh, unable to hold on to the pace and he's going to go into his own steady TT at this point most likely to the finish line at that 74.8, 4.9 as the Hedgehog. Uh, it's like the Hedgehog, man. He's been racing on Zwift for quite a long time. We are following right along over on ZwiftPower.com for the live results as well. So we'll be able to chat a little bit about each one of the riders and their history out on Zwift. Quite an amazing uh, website, actually, as a community resource. Uh, ZwiftPower.com has a full listing of all of the results from in-game. Uh, as well as live results currently going on. And you can also get the live broadcast over at ZwiftPower.com on the live tab for each one of these events. So if we are live broadcasting and you click the down arrow on the live video and the live chat, you can get the live chat actually and live video coming right in from our Twitch feed, which is a great way to follow the race along from the race uh, tele telemetry and dynamics going from Zwift to ZwiftPower.com as well as being able to view the broadcast over there as well. So uh, it does look like, I'm just going to look at Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog's uh, past race history as we were just looking at him and chatting a little bit about you know how many races this guy has done he's got this great Strava profile pic of a hedgehog being held up in a, in a hand there so it's actually a hedgehog looking like he's almost giving a thumbs up actually as his Strava profile what a great pic there out of the United Kingdom riding for the KISS racing team two I'm not sure I've seen this many races from any other profile 210 races out on Zwift. I've been broadcasting on Sonic the Hedgehog for going on, I think, a year and a half or more. Uh, and this guy has been a committed Zwift rider, Zwift racer. And uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, 210. Estimated FTP is 326 watts. And uh, he actually did the Dutch Olympic T talent team criterium. Uh, back on the 24th, actually, uh, took a second place in that. That's the last race he did. And then on the 23rd, he did the Kiss Europe race. So uh, seven days later, jumping right back in. He took an 11th in the last time he did the Kiss Europe race, and that was out on the London Loop, the exact same course, actually. So we'll see if he can better that 11th. I'm not sure it's going to happen, though. He goes into the Steady Eddie uh, trying to just hold on to the position here, and I think he is a little ways out of 11th now. But now we are seeing the attack start to open up here at the front end of the race. P. Cena here now we are seeing uh, out of Brazil. He is on the uh, Z Power which Z Power is unable to win categories outright at the front end of the race. The reason being that 
Accuracy is a question. Uh, real quick here. We didn't say this at the beginning of the race with the race information, but Strava data for KISS races must be open, not private or hidden, and there's a good reason for that for just some verification, trying to make things as verifiable as possible. Z-Power riders with average watts per kilogram over the duration of the race of greater than 3.99 watts per kilogram would not be eligible for cat or race wins. Uh, riders producing over 5 watts per kilogram averaged will be DQ'd but can be reinstated by sending in some matching performances from a strain gauge power meter uh, and um, from in real life performances and then being reinstated by the infamous Zada, the Zwift Anti Doping Association, a community organization, not directly uh, Zwift, just so everybody knows, that works with Zwift Power in order to make sure verification within races it's as real as they can get it. Heart rate monitors are also required for Cat A racers in the KISS races. So, as you can see here, no heart rate monitor on the Go Go Power Rangers, seen as just going to be the auto bus on the front currently at five or so watts per kilogram so Caden Sports is just going to follow right along with Burton and then uh, Ganyan like a canyon here hammered away out of Canada Webb following very closely there with Plujmers for Team Experimental a lot of teams represented at the front end of the race here but we are only seeing who's all together we've got McQuaid from KISS looks like two riders from the KISS racing team as we look down from the helicopter above view here uh, one vision rider innovations got one two in there as well I believe uh, just a little ways off the back is going to be no McQuaid's not riding for the KRT so actually it's fairly separated up with one or maybe two no just mainly one rider from every single team here represented so so nobody with uh, any kind of worries maybe about uh, having too many riders from another team in there. But no team tactics really going to be played out, and it's just going to be more of an every man for himself here at the front of this race uh, with so many different teams represented in the break now at this point. Amblard now from France, now 4.6, backing it off just a little bit as they crest over the top here. This is usually that moment of, oh, I made it. I've grabbed the wheel, and now it flattens out, and now I can back off while somebody else takes a pull at the front here. Webb now 2.8 watts per kilogram, just following up. Pete Cena, let's go ahead and see what kind of a box here that they did here. I have a feeling it's going to be right around a 6.05 maybe. Uh, so maybe let's see if we got some good guesstimates there on what we saw for the watts per kilogram to the top of the climb today as they go underneath the Continental Banner out on course today. And so it will be a 6.08. Off by three seconds. Again, pretty good at that one there. So off by about three seconds, but solid 608 to the top of the climb here. Burton now uh, sitting in a little bit. Now, as you can see, they drop the wattages down as it gets Grupo Compacto, and there's no longer an advantage so much. Not as much motivation at the front of that group to take a solid uh, effort to the front and try and break things apart as those riders that are behind you are definitely going to be getting too much of an advantage and just drafting right on you. But now as they head into this last little kicker over the top of Box Hill, we are seeing some people position themselves and I have a feeling we're going to see some crazy wattage over the top to really try and snap anybody off the back here that might be suffering. Timis now with 10 watts per kilogram at the front there on that Tron bike. Ryan for Caden Sports. Webb following very closely 10 watts per kilogram. As we look over the shoulders, we see who's trying to follow there. We see Plusmers. McQuaid is there as well. Innovation now with Richardson, Serzinski, Burton all able to make it, but Cena now falling off. Amblard as well. Ganyan's going to have to go right now. It looks like just barely going to make this with those orange numbers. Whenever you see those orange numbers on that right-hand side, you know they're going into a sprint, like, driller-type effort over VO2 Max. And absolutely only an effort you can hold for about 30 seconds to a minute or so tops in an all, you know, all out, essentially. And now we are seeing Annabelle falling off pace by about a minute here. And here is Amblard now just barely grabbing on to that wheel right in front of him. Goes right on by ODZ there. As Ganya is now falling off a little bit, there is a little bit of a gap. As Straczynski makes his way to the front now. Oh, and it is an arrow power up. As we were saying, this is a gamified race. He So let's go ahead and see, are we live yet again? Sorry, boys and girls. It looks like our ISP decided to just out of nowhere, uh, with no warning whatsoever, fully reset our entire uh, internet on our whole block, I think. So it looks like we are live again. 
uh, and uh, should be good to go. Apologies on the uh, interruption of the broadcast there. We are jumping right back into Zwift. I'll be able to ride with the front of the A group. It will give us an opportunity to take a look at the uh, B, C, and D group as well. I can also give you a quick little show into how the uh, how you get into a uh, Zwift event as well. I'm just going to make sure that we are good to go on all of the platforms right now. I went ahead and double checking here real quick. Apologies again on the uh, interruption there uh, and so we should be good to go uh, I think we do no longer we no longer have it over at the uh, uh, Facebook it got uh, interrupted over there but we should be good to go over on Twitch again apologies for the uh, mix up there as our ISP just uh, caught me uh, without notice out of nowhere uh, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, bring the um, race right back up for you boys and girls as we skip right into the game here. Uh, you guys will be able to see exactly how we can join events. So the way you do join an event, you can do so by just jumping on here. XRS is starting a little bit here, two hours. You click the event that you want to jump into. All the different categories are listed as far as their watts per kilogram on the right-hand side. I should have... Uh, riders here it looks like John Kerr is riding I believe in the race right now so we can go ahead and join up with John I hope as he is a part of the B category here all right so it looks like uh, we are with the front end of the bees. I am suddenly riding right along with these boys as I'm drafting on them now at this point. Oh boy, I hope I don't interrupt things too much here. But now we do have Kerr, it looks like, here along with uh, Philipson from TKBE finishing out the lap here for the B riders. We'll make our way back to the front end of the A riders in just a second here as we move forward. We do have Hinton now coming from the Kiss B category, leading things out as well a little bit. Uh, we're still going to move our way forward, though, to find that front end of the A race in just a moment here. As I believe, we do see Marge Kaufman actually out there running out on Zwift. Good to see her uh, taking advantage of that open uh, beta platform right now. Ian Appleby, we were watching him a little bit earlier from the A category race. Uh, so I'm um, going to just do a couple of quick little uh, tidying up here uh, for the uh, broadcast that got ended uh, just a minute ago. Uh, so uh, we are seeing it looks like then the hedgehog who had fallen off pace there just a little bit ago so not the hedgehog here KRT racing we were talking about him with his 210 or so races out on Zwift sitting in probably a let's see what position or so that he has right now it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog, 15th place, uh, trying to chase down Mr. Henry. Uh, our Henry, who's just a little ways up from him, who I believe uh, has fallen off pace from that front group as well. Here is Henry now trying to hang out with Lox and uh, Annabelle from the Innovation Cycles team now. As we look over the shoulder, we do see Smith now going right along in the Kiss A's going right on by here on this little uphill section at 4% uh, gradient or so. We do see Sepulveld, I believe, uh, not a part of the race at this point. So we're going to keep on moving forward to try and find the front and the pointy end of the A race again as they here they are they are making their way into uh, the uphill climb into Trafalgar Square for their second and final time and it has been broken up it looks like into uh, about 10 racers now top 10 of this front group uh, at this point um, looks like uh, looking through here I am going to be able to have chat from Twitch uh, I believe we should be good and live over there. I'm just going to make sure and double check as we <clears throat> uh, bring in the 
you think we do? Yep, yeah. Okay, we are good and live. Just making sure. I can see chat now over Twitch. Sorry about that. I hope some of you did make your way on over here. Uh, as well as I will bring up the chat at uh, Mixer and uh, over at YouTube in order to uh, bring in the broadcast uh, interaction over there. We most likely will not be going back to the uh, Zwift Facebook, though. For some reason, no idea what happened there, uh, but uh, the uh, my eyes, like I straight up had a complete reset with our ISP. So we'll have to have a little conversation with them after the broadcast about what just happened uh, with our uh, internet. So Burton here with Ganya and Omlard as well as Serzinski is there. Caden Sports, Web, Innovation, McQuaid, Plusmers now uh, for the top 10 in this race in the A category. They're going to be making their way over Box Hill one more time, waiting for that moment to attack. We're not going to see too much action until Box Hill most likely. So we can go ahead and over to zippower.com and figure out what is going on uh, with the rest of the riders. Um, looking at uh, the B category riders right now, we do see the leader is currently Star Lord ZHR, but he'll be getting an upgrade at 4.4 watts per kilogram. S. Casson as well, 4.3. Hinton then 4.2. Cheval 4.2. Uh, Termont there within category limits uh, then will be the current leader within the Bs that could win the race. The others are way over limit at this point. C. Smith following very closely then in that B category right now for 3.9, 3.7 watts per kilogram. About five minutes back from the front end of the A race. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of attack here from Webb prior to hitting Box Hill, maybe wanting to break things apart, knowing that he's not as strong as a climber, maybe, as the other riders out there, Plusmers, maybe one that he'd want to be watching out for, uh, being a very strong climber, Szynski as well. I do know that it's uh, that Webb has made comments about not being as strong of a climber as the others out on Zwift. So definitely uh, going to be uh, seeing how... Uh, this does play out as Webb is one of the favorites a lot of times. It is a little bit flatter, of a course. Uh, we'll see if he can hang on for the duration of the box hill climb up and over the top here. Uh, Rogers, thanks a lot for the welcome back. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Sorry about that. We had a full-on disconnect. It does look like there might be some work going on or something with my ISP that are they're trying to make things better. As I'm seeing a little bit of struggle here coming from the uh, my ISP's side of things right now doesn't look right without the orange t-shirt so well uh maybe we'll go jump back into the orange t-shirt uh for you next time i just uh, wanted to change it up just a little bit for you here uh we are seeing jay dent here not a part of the um not a part of the uh, race here, but uh, on a classic trainer trying to hang on to the front of the race here with McQuaid, Richardson, Plusmer, Szynski. Looks like Timis and Webb Gagnon's in there as well. And this is your front runners about to make their way up and over the top of Box Hill for their final time in the Kiss Europe race today. Larry Hockton says, you clearly missed it when he wore a yellow TFC top. We'll have to do that again this week. We'll have to see if we can make that happen. Uh, so um, still looking throughout all of the different chats here. Uh, definitely want to. Uh, Rogers, good to see you over at the Mixer channel. Uh, hanging out with uh, Hypebot, it looks like, over at the Mixer channel as well. I am watching uh, here and there over at the YouTube as well. So if you would like to, you can go ahead and shoot your comments right on over. Um, so, uh, Nori, though, we are over on Twitch. We did get it restarted over there. Uh, we will not restart over at the Zwift Facebook. I am seeing your comments over at the uh, Zwift Facebook right now. Web now, 6.0 watts per kilogram with Pujers falling very closely. Ganyan now there. Uh, Ganyan's been having some dropouts here and there, it looks like, or some sort of a disappearing effect there for a moment, as well as Pujers on and off. So we'll see if they're able to hang on for the rest of the race. Hopefully no dropouts, no flats out on course there, and they can uh, keep connected here. Burton now, 7.3 watts per kilogram, making his way to the front with, it looks like Richardson now, 9 watts per kilogram, falling very closely as well. Plusmers now 8.6. Now, speaking of Plusmers, let's go ahead and see what's up with this man and this password's rates results out on Zwift. We are seeing uh, a solid 4.6 watts per kilogram for the duration. Has a couple of wins, actually, as of recently. 196... 
excuse me, 167 races total, FTP 330 estimation. Uh, we are seeing he took a second in the WBR Igniter. He took a second in EVR Europe. He took a second in the XRS ZTR, actually, on the 23rd. So it's been about five days since he's been racing, but definitely a solid result uh, recently out on Zwift here. He took a win in the Kiss Europe on the 16th as well as the EVR race on the 10th. So nothing but seconds and firsts for this man out on Zwift in the last few races that he has been jumping into. So definitely one to be watching out for for the finish. And he's just been calling following wheels there. The man out of the Netherlands here. Following wheels, following wheels, making sure that nobody's going much of anywhere as he hangs on to Innovation Cycles G. Richardson at the front of this race. And this is essentially, I mean, what an amazing race here. Plusmers, Richardson, Serzinski, all out on course. Uh, Timis, I mean, uh, this is a, kind of a precursor ride here with, I think, four of the guys who are going to be showing up for that live event in London. Now, Ganyan, though, saying, live event, who needs him? I'm going to the front here and killing it uh, as he tries to break the pack now and uh, let them know what kind of power he's got coming out of Canada here for Team ODZ. Webb now following very closely. We'll give him a ride on as well. 158 beats per minute. Timis now 170 following very close. You can see that verification badge on the right-hand side there. That means he is a known entity and verified as the true account of that individual. So as an ex-pro on the World Tour circuit gets that verified badge to let you know that actually that is Adrian Timmis out on course in Zwift. Plugers now kicking it into that 7.7 .7 watts per kilogram, trying to follow those moves as they come, but here we go with McQuaid now falling off with Serzinski. Oh, 18 meters is huge on Box Hill. Can he close this down? Going to be a difficult day to do so, I think so, as they make their way to the uh, top of the hill. Um, definitely a huge gap to be closing down here for Serzinski, uh, but just barely grabbing onto McQuaid's wheel. As they round out this last quarter of the climb, this is one of the most difficult parts, though, as they make their way to the crest. These are where the attacks come in, and this is a two-second gap at 186 beats per minute. I'm not sure that Serzinski is going to be a part of this finish, as we've got eight, I believe, now off the front. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excuse me, Nathan cannot count. It's going to be six riders. Off the front now as Burton, Webb, Cadence Sports, Adrian Timmis there, Plujmers, and Ganyan. But Szczynski slowly, little by little, clawing his way back at 187 beats per minute right now. What an effort there coming from Szczynski. Grabs back onto the wheel. McQuaid now just barely doing so as well at 170. You know the pain is definitely going to be so real at this point, trying to follow these wheels. And uh, this is some of the best training you can possibly get, though. I say it time and again. The Cadence... Uh, I mean, the, uh, the steady power and cadence you have to put out and the following of the attacks, especially on Box Hill with the steady 6 to 10 minute effort, depending on what category you're in, is just everything you got to hang on. And uh, it makes it so you can follow any wheel in real life, this chasing of the pixels here. I've had uh, experience after experience in real life racing, going back to the memories of Box Hill and the suffering I went through to chase down those avatars. And it gave me so much motivation and so much confidence in the races in real life to follow any move in any wheel after the crazy chasing of the pixels that happens here out on Zwift. So here we go with Webb now, 9.5 watts per kilogram. Now here's an attack as he follows Ganyan. He knows that Ganyan is a threat as he goes off the front here. And now Burton, seeing that he's going as well, is going here at 8.6 watts per kilogram, grabs on the wheels. So they're about to crest, and they want to make this stick right now. Plusmer is now seeing the threat, jumps into 6 watts per kilogram as they're just about to crest over, and they're going to want to have as much speed as they possibly can as they hit the flatter section of the course afterwards in order to break anybody off that might be trying to hang on to the wheel and not get a draft as the speeds come up onto the flatter section of the course. Szczynski now with that arrow power up, seeing that this is a moment of truth for him, but unable to close that gap down as they kick it into that 6-7 watts per kilogram over the top now. 173 beats per minute there coming from Plujmers. We're seeing the 163 from Adam, who beats quite a bit lower than Plujmers there for his max heart rate, but now Webb, 4.9. Burton there, 4.0. Adrian now, we're seeing everyone kind of now backing off a little bit. Szczynski might have an opportunity here. 
to close things down as he gets the ride on there, but it is a full six seconds there within his sights still for the finish here in over the top of the box hill and for the look at the finish line that's going to be coming up here very quickly as they descend box hill. They're going to be coming into the last few K here, and it's going to be a difficult, difficult day for him, though. He's going to have to close it down prior to the final attack over that last kick on box hill if he wants to be a part of this race, I think. Six seconds is the difference. Now, as we see the main group make their way into the little bit of reprieve before the all out whirlwind over the top of the final climb here out on course. Well, the final real kick real extended climb. They do still have a climb out of the underground, but usually anybody who's been resting up on the descent and into the underground is going to have enough kick usually to make it with the rest of the riders unless they're really burnt out out of the underground climb that goes into that 15% gradient or so. Burton now kicking. Plusmer's going. Canes, this is the last time to break things apart most likely before a sprint finish at the finish line. Making sure Szczynski doesn't get back on terms. Definitely with these huge watts per kilogram. Look at those orange numbers. Canes is leading it out. Webb following right along with him it looks like there now it looks like TFC with Burton able to follow the wheels but we do see innovation with Richardson unable to go with it maybe now one last kick to grab a wheel but now fading one more time continuance from Webb now is breaking things apart as you're seeing this uh, train of riders starting to get uh, derailed now Kane's just barely coming back to Webb's wheel. There we go. The speed is there from these four riders, but they do drop off Plusmers as well as Ganyan, who are going to get together and battle it out for fifth place today. As we look and see to the front, there goes Richardson, who had enough kick there to actually go right on by the riders who let up as they took that speed into the downhill here at about 44 miles per hour or so. He definitely needs to pick up another arrow if he wants to get back on terms. Suzinski there. Not sure it's going to happen today. Well, have to see if that uh, if that's going to happen. We'll have to now. I'm gonna check real quickly here to see if we are back up and running on the Zwift. Uh main page. I have a feeling we will not be. No, we did have, and that uh, post was taken down. It's too bad. Sorry about that disconnection, everybody. We had a some sort of an ISP dropout. Still looks like our ISP is struggling a little bit, uh, and I'm going to have to uh, check in with those guys. I'm going to have a phone call immediately following this uh, broadcast so that you guys are getting all of the quality casting that you need from these races here. But Webb now 5.6 watts per kilogram. Richardson now 3.3 sitting in with Caden Sports and Ganyan now 19 seconds is the difference. It's not going to happen. I don't think Plusmer is sitting in on that wheel. Just looking for that fifth place it looks like though as he rests up. Ganyan willing to do the work it looks like at the front here and Plusmers will give him a ride on. Nine watts per kilogram with an attack it looks like on Ganyan after sitting into that Sagan Tuck trying to get that speed up as high as possible. Maybe not an attack there, but just coming around and keeping the speed uh, up into that 42, 41, 43, but it looks like it's just going to keep going away with this lead group on the front here of four strongmen in this A category today. So Burton there, right along with Webb, Timmis, Richardson. Plusmer is now 22 seconds back now. As you can see, Timmis now 4.3 watts per kilogram or so. Uh, so, uh, D Williams, man, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to have, I think we're going to see some more arrow power ups there from a few of these riders, but, uh, I'm not sure we're going to see Straczynski back at the front of this race again. Uh, if you do want to bring in any kind of social media interaction, you can still do so through our Twitter. We did, uh, get uh, knocked off of the Facebook uh, with that dropout. But uh, we are still able to bring in your questions and comments from the Twitter feed. All you got to do is at Z Community Live. We'd love to hear your predictions about what is going to be happening uh, on the uh, uh, race today. Uh, Make sure to bring that right on in. Uh, We are seeing a little bit of interaction here. Uh, a whole bunch of interaction, actually, coming in from James Smith. We've seen Wizwift Watch TV, Steve Tweed as well, tweeting out at us about CVR. A lot of CVR World Cup interaction there coming through uh, from people at Z Community Live. Uh, tweets going out. We are seeing Plusmers now kicking it. What, speaking of boys going to that uh, event, uh, out of the Netherlands now getting a gap on Ganyan, as it looks like he's got quite a lot of juice left in the 
uh, in the tank here to get back with the front end of this race. Richardson, now, well, I don't know about front end, but at least drop off uh, Gagnon and be able to take that fifth spot before the line. No sprint, it looks like, for that fifth spot. But now the boys are starting to look at each other. It's all about tactics now. As Burton sits at the front, 3.6, doesn't want anybody to get the jump on him. Richardson now, as we can see, 3.4. Caden Sports now with Adrian Timmons, 3.0. But Webb playing it super smart at the back of this race and definitely got has a huge kick to deal with. And I think they're all going to be watching Webb, wanting to grab that wheel. But the kick's there. Nine watts per kilogram goes from way, way out as he sees Richardson going as well. Does not want that to get away now 3.3 watts per kilogram now as he grabs on to richardson's wheel immediately gets a gap over uh burton there burton closing it down quickly but is he going to be on the back foot now after using a little bit of energy there now we do see Caden sports resting up zero watts per kilogram real quickly there now back into 0.6 will he be able to move forward though consistently we see burton now 4.1 now it's going to come down to those final meters who's going to go first is the question and who's got the kick to the line we're going to see some huge waters bazookas now as we see burton starting to ramp it up and really early with that arrow power up but it's going to be a 30 second power up so he's got a lot of landscape to use it here here for full on uh, highest speed that he can get to. Burns got 12 watts per kilogram. Webb has the same, but now 14 watts per kilogram here coming from Webb with that arrow power up. He's going to be able to go flying right on by as Burton can only hold on to that 10 and it's going to be Webb followed by Burton and then Cadence followed by Richardson. Timmis there taking third. Richardson there taking fourth and then we're going to see Joaquin Palooza just about 10 seconds, 15 seconds behind, oh, excuse me, 20 seconds behind or so with one last kick to the line, uh, bringing it in for fifth place today in the A category race. Your ISP is already shaking, Larry Hot Dog says. Yeah, I'm going to get into a call here, Larry, uh, over at the Twitch channel. Definitely want uh, to uh, get it. They not, I may not answer because he is racing. I'm calling Webb for the win. Uh, and hilarious. Good chatter there, guys. And now uh, Roger said Burton. Uh, nice call there, but just off by one, it looks like, at the finish line. Ganyan with the fastest time up over the top of the climb there at 6.08 on the dot. Uh, nice race to Gandhi. They're taking sixth place for Team ODZ. Suzinski now coming across for seventh as we round out the top ten here momentarily in the A category. McQuaid now eighth place, followed closely uh, by Team France there for ninth out there today with an uh, Amblard. Uh, Amblard is going to be followed up there next for... Uh, 10th, 11th place there, not seeing, we are seeing a few D category riders making their way to the line. Does look like Innovation here is going to battle it out with Locks though, to the line with Annabelle. And it looks like Aaron Locks there from Vision Cycling as well. Fair player to Burton, awesome sprint. Yeah, solid, solid sprint there from Burton as well. But now the sprint's going to be coming down to Locks and Annabelle to the line. Henry trying to chase them down, not going to happen there out of Ireland right now. Got a whole bunch of follows, actually, over at Zwift Community Live. Uh, Highlander, Dwayne, and Nikon, thanks a lot for the follows over on the Twitch channel at Zwift Community Live. We appreciate them very much, uh, for sure. And uh, welcome to the stream. Locks now 3.6 watts per kilogram up at the front. Annabelle 4.2, following it up there, trying to follow that wheel. Do see an SK Rye Rider out there in workout mode. Uh, not a part of the race right behind them. Uh, locks now 2.6, just resting up, not going to jump again just yet. We're going to see who's going to go first now as they head into the final 300 meters or so. And it is going to be Annabelle here out of Italy, leading it out 3.9 watts per kilogram. Now starting to jump 4.5, ramping it up. Not a jump just yet, just a slow ramp up here. But Locks able to follow very closely now. And sitting in on that wheel, waiting for the moment to pounce all the way to the line. Annabelle now starting to go 5.1 watts per kilogram, 154 beats per minute. It looks like he's got a lot left. Locks now kicking. Here goes 13 watts per kilogram with a drafting power up, making sure that if he does come around, he does not get any advantage. And it looks like Locks is going to be able to take that into the 13 watts per kilogram or so with Innovation coming across the line next. Just outside the top 10 in that A category. Henry now as well, top 15 or so in the A category. Next one across the line. Seath Smith is there too. So nice job to those riders as they make their way to the line. 
Uh, was he hacked by Trader Road or something? <laughs> Martin says, uh, you're hilarious, Martin. Um, uh, so, um, no, I'm not sure what happened. I'm going to give him a call and see, but it was a full shutdown. Like I have my modem right here. I looked down and it was blank except for I had power. So there was power to the modem and nothing else was coming in. So there was zero communication, complete dropout to my ISP. I have a feeling there's probably somebody outside my house working on the pole right now for our cable connection because uh, with that kind of a dropout they had to directly disconnect me somehow momentarily uh, so apologies on the disconnect there must have been some sort of maintenance going on I was not warned about uh, and uh, so completely out of my hands sorry we uh, missed a part of the race uh, content out there today so uh, looking through for B Hinton, uh, hint for the B race here, Hinton is uh, leading things out, it looks like. We'll see if we can find Hinton out there for the B category. We do see Appleby now for the A racers making his way to the line. Nice job to him out there today. Uh, we're going to keep on moving through here and see if we can find, though, Hinton, who's currently leading out the B category riders, should just be coming into the finish line here pretty quickly. Here we go. It looks like Cheval right along with Hinton battling it out for these first place spots in the B category. We'll follow these boys up to the podium, and then we'll go through the results for the rest of the categories out there today, as we do have them separated for the A, B, and the C, D categories, I believe, for most of the kiss races out there uh as of recently with that swap up uh i believe uh, it looks like they are actually all in one cat one uh results tab actually today uh so it looks like for the c category uh they are bringing it in they are doing two out there today all right so and it looks like the d category is uh, out there with Al Davidson and N. Scott and B. Soper making their way to the line. The C category then as well with uh, S-Box, Arms, and Boardman uh, leading things out there too. So uh, that is your current leaders in that C category. But we're looking at the front of the Bs right now as they make their way to the line. It's going to be a battle between Hinton and Chavelle. Uh, 3.8, 4.3 now. They're definitely sitting right around that threshold as their max is right around 4.0 watts per kilogram in this category. We are seeing a very early arrow power up there from uh, Hinton. Doesn't want it to be a sprint, but to be a long, drawn out minute or so effort to hold Chav uh, Chavel off of his wheel. Chavel trying to kick to hold on to it, but with that arrow power up, we are seeing from Innovation Man here, 185 beats per minute now. He is probably going to be able to hold on to a two second gap to the line as Chavel is giving up the ghost there at uh, 5.0 or so. And uh, 178, unable to hang on to Hinton, who's going to take the win here in this B category today. And uh, two, we're seeing uh, move to Sweden. Haven't had a dropout in many years, Martin is saying. 2012 was the last time, perhaps. Sheeper, man, well... Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to move to Sweden in order to get my broadcasting studio <laughs> set up correctly. It's got to be a better way to do that, right? A field across the line in the C category. It looks like nice job to him, followed by Chevelle there at 3.4 watts per kilogram. Now is field uh, just finishing up a one lapper there for the C category, I have a feeling. Maybe it looks like as uh, perhaps... That is what's going on there. It looked like he was finishing up a C category race there and sprinting across the line in the KISS C category for A field. I uh, wonder if they're doing just one today. Uh, but they are all a part of the same category. I have a feeling they still got one to go. And we are seeing Rogers with a little bit more chatter in there. Team TFC can do Team X and buy Team SC. And uh, <laughs> what are you talking about there, Rogers? Uh, interesting chatter there going on. Maybe a little ZVA type chatter happening in the uh, Twitch uh, chat there. Uh, so it looks like that'll be it for the front end of the bees. We'll just follow out the podium here with Termont and Beerline as they make their way for the line here for the top spots, uh, top 
three spot, looking for a top three here for Termont as he uses that drafting power up for that last kick to line. Looks like he will have the jump on beer line here uh, coming out of Germany, and it is over a one second gap at this point. I'm not sure that the German rider is going to be able to close it down as Termont kicks it to the line and takes down spot number three in that B category. Now, these are preliminary results. What is ZVA? Zwift Venting Area? Zwift Venting Area? Uh, just so you know. Uh, if you don't know what the Zwift Venting Area is, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, that's going to be it. We're going to go over the results here real quickly uh, for the A and the B category as the riders have made their way to the line in this Kiss Europe race today. Uh, we are seeing it is going to be Adam Webb with the win uh, with just about down the same second there as Matthew Burton, followed by Adrian Timmis. And then Gavin Richardson is the order I see in Zwiftpower.com. Joachim Plusmer is there for fifth, followed by Alexander Gagnon, and then Peter Szczynski, Jim McQuaid, Nicholas Omblard, Aaron Locks. That is your top ten today in the Kiss Europe race. Hinton followed by Chevelle and then Kassin, but those boys were all over four watts per kilogram in that B category race. So maybe... Uh, going to need some upgrades. It looks like it's going to be Termont followed by Beerline for the top two spots today. I believe it's going to be Smith and then the MIG there, the next ones, across the line. Ruff then is going to be taking, rounding out that top five. K okay, Ruff for Vision Cycling, maybe. Uh, Buckley and Sims were with them there as well, so they're in that top ten uh, for the B category. All right, uh... Uh, just so you guys know, we do have some abilities here. Uh, a lot of people have moved over to the Twitch channel, so we're going to talk about it a little bit. We have, as of recently on the Twitch channel, started uh, doing events over here in our event page on Twitch. Make sure to use that as a resource, okay? So over on our uh, Twitch channel, we have live events uh, scheduled throughout the week so you can get reminders of any time that we do go live as well as following over there. We'll get you an email directly anytime that we go live. No worries. Larry Hot Dogs, definitely you are welcome. You can uh, also... Uh, Follow us over on Twitter. We also live over on YouTube, Mixer, as well as Facebook. Make sure to follow us up on all of those places. Coming up next on Zwift Community Live on our events page, if you go ahead and take a look over there, it will be the SCR race series uh, tomorrow at noon. So head on over there. Get your reminder. Uh, Kiss Racer Focus with Ian Anderson on Thursday. Uh, Kiss Europe Night Race then also on Thursday. We also have the Primal Europe Friday Criterium. Droclat Assassin. And then obviously next week we've got the CVR World Cup. So uh no but yeah, definitely, definitely Martin, you're welcome. And we'll also start getting a schedule up in our other places. But this is a very, really great resource that you can use. One other thing I'd like to walk you through. On the live video in front of you on Twitch right now, there's a little clip section that you can use to highlight any of your races. Uh, so you don't have to ask us to make a highlight of your race. You can actually go into our past broadcasts and clip any section of the races to make a highlight of the race and promote that out uh, to throw that out there. Uh, it's a, a really great little uh, resource that you can use called Twitch Clips. Uh, and uh, that little clips thing will clip any part of a broadcast live or pre recorded. Uh, that's been uh, that that happened right around that uh, 90 seconds or so that you are uh, nearby in the broadcast. So for about 90 seconds around where you are clipping, that is going to be what will grab and be clipped. So it's a really cool use source that users can use out there so that if you are looking for highlights, you know a lot of users, the reason I mentioned this is a lot of users are like, how do I get highlights? How do I get highlights? I really want to highlight this. I really like to grab that. And then they go and they do a pre-recorded thing or something in order to push out the cool experience that they had out on Zwift. The Twitch Clips does that native and it's easily shareable. It can push out to all the social media realms. So very cool uh, thing that you can use for uh, creating those race and ride broadcast highlights. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for tuning in, and we will see you tomorrow for the SZR race uh, out on Zwift. Cheers, everybody. Congratulations to the riders, as always, and as always, ride on.